Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the very dull but very necessary subject of NAS expansions. Predominantly I want to talk about the brand new range of QNAP expansions that have been announced and are pretty much ready for release. They've been slowly filtered through and the whole system's taken the best part of half a year from what I've seen since the initial reveal of these products. But it has led to an element of confusion for a number of users because it's one thing to have you know, you queuing up NAS and you want to expand it and you've got one or two options to play with, but all of a sudden, there's like 15 different kinds of expansion. And whether you're a home or a business user and you're just looking to get a bit more space for your data, it is incredibly confusing because all of them seem to be at a very different scaled pricing and the speeds at which they're promising and the connections that they are using seem all over the place. So today, we're going to talk about the QNAP TL and T our range of expansions. We're going to focus them and put them into three groups with a secret fourth group that we're going to talk about at the end, but we're going to talk about where they all sit and hopefully you'll find out which one of these three groups applies to your NAS expansion needs and therefore will narrow 15 plus products down to about two for you. So let's get started. First and foremost, Let's talk about some of the letters we're going to talk about throughout the course of this, because TL and TR is only the you know the icing on the cake. There's lots of them. So every time you hear the letter D in a product ID, that stands for desktop. If you see R in a product ID, that stands for rack mount. If you see C, that means it is connected via a USB Type C connection. And finally, if you see S, it means it is using a SAS based connection. Generally, 8088, I think, or 80. 4, 4, or 4, 2. There's lots of them, but you don't have to focus too much on that. Come back, come back. Now, the TL and the TR largely sent the L is predominantly a JBOD solution, with the R being a RAID-enabled solution, a hardware RAID solution. And these are kind of the key letters you have to deal with. T being just what QNAP was in front of any NAS. It used to originally stand for Turbo Station, but for now, T just means QNAP now. So those are the main letters you're going to contend with, and hopefully they are on screen at some point there. So now let's talk about those three key groups that I talked about. The first one I want to talk about is the TLC variant, okay? Not the band. Ignore them. They don't exist here. So what are the TLC range? These range from the TLR1200C, the TLD800C, and a few other ones that range is steadily growing. And these are USB-C non-RAID solutions. So these are for ones that you want to connect via a USB port on your QNAP NAS system, but you don't want a hardware RAID version. You want your NAS to not only handle the RAID that you've got on your original NAS system, but you want it to also encompass the JBOD system, either for the NAS to handle two sets of RAID simultaneously, or you want it to absorb all these extra drives from the USB connection into your existing RAID array. And that's utilizing USB 3.1 Gen 2. Now that's important. Because up until this point, traditional USB uh, expansions such as the UX 500p and 800p use standard USB 5 gigabits per second. And given that the average drive is connected via SATA, which is a 6 gigabits per second connection, a lot of you had already noticed that you weren't getting the output and throughput that you really should have got. With these new expansions, although not RAID enabled in them, in of themselves, if you get your NAS to handle the RAID, then you can use USB 3.1 Gen 2 for its 10 gigabits per second connection, allowing you to have a transition speed between your NAS and the expansion in the TLC range of up to a thousand megabytes per second, which is pretty darn good once you get those in a good RAID array. And they do arrive in a 12 bay rack mount solution and an eight bay desktop solution. That's the D800 for the desktop and the R1200 for the rack mount. And those are pretty much the newer defaults, if you will. They're the ones that, although a bit brainless, they're probably the most affordable of the three generations I'm going to talk about today, but they do rely on your NAS system handling a lot of the RAID work, and therefore your NAS needs to have a little bit of horsepower there under the bonnet. So let's move on to the second range. This is the one we've known about the longest of the three. This is the TRC range. These are hardware RAID solutions, and these are um, external uh, NAS expansion devices which have RAID inside. They can conduct their own RAID operation so they can make sure they've got their own safety net and 
save your external NAS system, your original NAS, from having to handle all of that. What they do is connect to these external RAID systems and all the work is already done. They're just seeing an input. Now, they can still utilize those RAID expansions um, for, you know, mirrored storage. They can even use traditional, you know, absorption mode, otherwise known as JBOD, just a bunch of drives in that expansion, which are then handled by the host system. These are known as the TR002, TR004. Then there's the rack mount units of that range, the, the U versions of both of them respectively. There's a four band expansion and bigger. And there's the newer generation ones that we talked about at the start of the year, known as the TR106C and the TR104C. These are solutions that utilize Thunderbolt as well. We're not going to talk about those too much, but they are kind of in the same bracket. They are USB-C enabled solutions that do uh, range between USB 3.1 Gen 1 and USB 3.1 Gen 2. For now, just focus on those first ones. The other ones haven't been released yet, and that's for a future video. Focus on the TR002, TR004, and the TR004U. These are expansion devices that have got a hardware RAID controller inside that you can use as mirrored storage, in independent storage, or absorb them into your existing RAID array. They cost a little bit more uh, than the first generation, the TLC units that we talked about, but they, they take the work away from your NAS to give you that supported RAID structure. They have a hardware RAID switch on the rear, and once again, are connected by USB-C. The final tier, is for you guys out there, definitely this is an enterprise level solution. This is the TLS um, range. And I'm going to keep looking at my notes slightly off camera there because there's a lot of products in this range for us to talk about. Now, the TLS range is JBOD. So straight away, a number of you might be thinking, well, that sounds crap, no ray card. Stay with me. The devices arrive um, with a SATA uh, connection for all of the drives inside but a SAS external connector, multiple SAS connectors at that. And in fact, every one of these expansions arrives with a SAS card as well that's installed inside the RAID system of choice, or even your PC or Mac system of choice if it is supportive of these cards. And it has an available PCIe slot too. These are solutions that have large numbers of bays. They start at four bays and go all the way up to 16 bays of storage, all SATA, some of the mixing hard drives and SSDs. And on top of that, has SAS connections on the rear that will combine this enormous RAID speed from these huge arrays of drives into the card that is included with your purchase, which you install inside your QNAP NAS or your PC or Mac system, or even Linux servers too. These are expansions where you need them to come fast. If you're a business user, particularly data center users, that's already utilizing SAS based solutions in NAS, some of the SAS connected desktop and rack mount solutions, these are the expansions that will interest you. Because even though they've got SATA connections in the right RAID array, and with those connections, those SAS card uh, connections, you are going to get insane speeds. The slowest one, which I believe is that four bay, gives you around 1500 megabytes per second. So that's higher than everything we've talked about so far. And it goes all the way up to on that 16 bay. 5,000 megabytes per second. Obviously, it will depend on the RAID, and I think you will need to go for a RAID 0 to get those sort of speeds, which a lot of you will not do, but you still will get damn high speeds in a RAID 5 or RAID 1 or RAID 10 environment. So these expansions, the TLD1600S, the TLD400S, the TL800S, the TLR, so rack mount, 1200S, and the TLR 400s rack mount 2 so you've got a good range of solutions there all of them arrive with scaled numbers of sas connectors with one sas connector uh, i believe it's no sorry two sas connectors for every four uh, no one sas connector for every four bays sorry about that i had to think i was looking at my image there for a sec but hopefully that's on screen right now and these do scale accordingly with the more bays that you have the more sas connections on the back of the nas and the more speed you are going to get overall feeding into the card at the other end with the larger uh nas expansion solutions arriving with four bay cards too now one thing we should focus on is that biggie the tld 1600s 
because that has a little bit more inside. That arrives with 12 hard drive bays and four SSD bays. It also arrives, of course, with four SAS connectors on the rear, allowing up to that 5,000 megabytes per second speed potential. But on top of that, it also has PCIe expandability. It's one of the few products in that range that allows you to install a RAID card to handle the RAID in that system and get your speed even higher and choosing between these three ranges comes down to quite simply if you need a standard expansion that's brainless jbod and you want your nas to take care of it and you don't want to muck around with specialist equipment or pcie go for the tlc range of solutions that's tl with a c at the end if you want the nas expansion to handle the raid and just give you raid safe storage for you to bolt onto your array or a way of mirroring it together with your existing system and still having the RAID, go for the TRC range. TR, bunch of numbers, C on the end. Finally, if you are looking for premium speed, your enterprise level user with a large RAID array, huge, then you are going to have to look at the TLS range. TL, bunch of numbers, S. And remember, D for desktop, S for, uh, sorry, D for desktop, uh, R for rack mount, C for USB-C and S for those SAS connections. Now I did say at the end of the video I was going to talk about an extra little one there at the end. That's of course Thunderbolt expansions. Thunderbolt expansions are getting an overhaul too. It's taking a little bit longer. But um, at the moment it looks like there is of course the TR104C and TR106C that we talked about. These are Thunderbolt 3 and USB 3.1 Gen 2 enabled 4 and 6 bay hardware RAID solutions. And there's even an 8 bay coming very soon, which hasn't quite landed yet. But from everything I've heard and seen, it might be one of the best expansions they've ever brought out. And remember, every single one of the expansions we've talked about today is not specific to NAS. They can all be utilized in standard PC, Linux servers, and Mac in some cases, as normal DAS storage. So do bear that in mind. I hope you found this video helpful. I've tried to keep it as simple as possible because these ranges are overtly complex and it is not even easy to wrap your head around a number of these solutions. To go from two solutions to 15 to 16 in the course of a year can get damn confusing and I hope I have helped you. So if you have found this helpful, do click like. If you wanna learn more about NAS in general, click subscribe. Do go to the NAS Compare link in the description to learn more and I will see you next time.